Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. And today I'm playing City Builder Tropico 5. In it, you lead an island nation as a dictator, trying to make a whole bunch of money while preventing the people from revolting against you. Uh, this game features three major new things over previous entries in the series. Uh, the first is multiplayer. So in multiplayer, you can uh, play cooperatively or competitively against other people online. Uh, although there isn't any games available right now because this is before the game is released. Uh, but you can create a game. You can choose any of the maps that the game includes or generate a random map. And the random maps are pretty well done, I must say. Uh, you can change the size of the island. So you can do a large island. Uh, change the elevation. Change the amount of resources. And change the climate. Uh, and then... Choose your starting era, which is the other major, uh, one of the other major additions to the game. Uh, there's four eras. There's Colonial Era, World Wars, Cold War, and Modern Times. Each of those unlocks a new set of buildings and has a couple other uh, challenges to try to stay in power and people you have to try to uh, go up against. Uh, you can also tweak the starting population, the money, uh, difficulty levels, disasters, and also how victory is attained. You can either do an open-ended one where there's no victory, or you can do it by a set number of points, or a set amount of money, or constructing a major thing like a nuclear power plant or whatever. So, pretty cool uh, that you can do that online, up to four players. Uh, what I'm going to do is a single-player sandbox against the AI. So I'm going to choose a new game. There's also a campaign that has a little bit more scripted missions. Uh, what you can do is you can create a dynasty, uh, which is kind of the third major feature of the game, where you have family members that will produce offspring, and then you can give them jobs uh, in your uh, community. And then they'll help lead your community, and then they'll gain experience over time, uh, and you can level up their characters and stuff. So kind of like a role-playing light. Uh, sort of entries. I'm just going to pick this family here that has two people in it. And then same options that were in before. So I'm going to choose a generated map. Uh, we'll do me medium. It's pretty good for one player, to be honest. Uh, let's do flat. I haven't really done flat before. Do And then the rest of this is okay. Then we'll do a little wet. Uh, I'm going to start in colonial area era just because uh, if you start later in the game, like in the modern times, it kind of assumes that you have uh, an already established city with a lot of the research that is conducted, and it takes kind of an exorbitant amount of time to get that done uh, if you don't kind of continuously build your your stuff up. So you can kind of tweak your starting population and your money. I'm going to give myself some more money. <laughs> Unlimited. So you can see there's uh, you know options here to kind of... Uh, you know, tweak that part of the game. Uh, game can be difficult. It is easy through trade to kind of bring in a lot of money, but you still have to worry about uh, uprisings uh, and people invading uh, your town. So, you know, I've lost every game that I've started. So I guess that's something there. And then I'm just going to choose this open-ended and not really choose any victory points. So away we go. The music is always good, uh, as with other, you know, games in the in the series. All right, so here's your little crappy starting town. So a pretty large island here. Uh, start out with your palace, uh, construction office to build stuff, teamsters to shuttle things around, and then a ranch for some food. Uh, and your dock. These little uh, blue things are little missions. Uh, that it generates every once in a while. So let me build a road here. There we go. And let's see what I want to do first. I want to start to establish my economy. Uh, the game's interface is pretty good. Uh, it gives a whole lot of information. If you go here to the almanac, you can see your balance. It goes through all that detail. Uh, resources, 
uh, tourism, your, how many people are unemployed, power when you get to that point of the, in the game. Well, the happiness ratings for different things and then it shows all the buildings that you have for that. Uh, details about your population, the politics, and the beginning you have to worry about the royalists and revolutionaries and the crown to so start out as a colony. Your little uh, dynasty, which actually carries over from game to game, uh, which is pretty cool. And then just a basic list of all your uh, buildings. They also have the trade overlays here, which show you good areas to plant specific crops, which is pretty cool. Um, and then all the buildings you can build, your infrastructure, resources, building industrial things, housing, entertainment, tourism, uh, and then basic support services like education, religion, healthcare, uh, and stuff like that, money, military. So. Uh, let's see what I want to do first. Probably build my library. It does give you suggestions every once in a while. Library allows you to do research. So that'll be a good thing to do. And then I'm going to start doing some resources. Let's probably do a logging camp. Use the mouse wheel to rotate. Which can get a little uh, confusing. Probably my only complaint about the interface. Because uh, you use the mouse wheel to rotate. You can't zoom in or out while you're placing buildings, which is kind of annoying. So I got my logging camp down. I'll probably do a wharf too. Uh, if I can find a place for it. Uh, might not have any suitable areas here. You have to kind of have an area with fish. So I'll not worry about that yet. I already have one ranch. We'll start doing our plantations here so we can export some stuff. Get some bananas up. There we go. Uh, this is what I mean about not being able to zoom out. Coffee. Coffee is good. We'll build a couple coffee farms. Um, tobacco. Can I squeeze that in there? I think I can. Yeah. All right, there we go. That'll be a good start. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? Uh, sure. I can offer you. Excuse me. That was what that little mission thing is was for. Uh, basically, in the first part of the game, you have four years to declare independence uh, before the crown kind of kicks you out. A banana plantation. All right, I can do that. Wait, didn't I order one of a banana one? That might be a good coincidence. Yep, sure did. Okay, so I'll fulfill that. Uh, by doing the missions, you can extend your uh, time that you can stay in power. Should have one ship. I do. Uh, what can I export? Cotton or gold? Well, cotton it is. Uh, with these trade deals, it gets you a little bit more income. As you can see here, it's higher than the default price uh, than you would normally. So now I need to build a cotton place. Actually, I can switch one of these if I need to. Oh, yeah, let me change this to cotton. There we go. No harm, no foul there. The game does allow you to go into negative uh, dollar amounts up to usually about ten thousand dollars. The library is almost done. Uh, once my library is done, you can do research projects. Uh, there's a whole bunch, basically through all the parts of the game, all the ages. There's different edicts you can have, which are unlocked in each of the four eras. Uh, costs money, but gives you a benefit. Probably do a building permit to give money in your Swiss bank account. Here's the dynasty. $150,000 in the Swiss bank account will actually allow me to level him up, which is kind of nice. Uh, I can actually level up this guy if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to save my money and do it on Berto. Uh, if you click on one of the buildings, there you go. So now I got somebody in the library so I can research. 
the sickle because I have a lot of farm, so we'll do the farm upgrades. Uh, so I kind of have to wait for something to get built. Well, we can do this. Uh, so you can see the different workers that you have. And there he is, and you can follow him around. Gives you all the different details about them. You can do different actions against them. Kill him off for 2000 bucks. All it takes is money. Shows the family tree, which is pretty cool. Shows their happiness ratings and then all their different thoughts. So pretty detailed, uh, you know, level of simulation here. In a particular business, you can also see its effectiveness. Oh, thanks. I will take the money. Uh, and then you can also get up, pay for upgrades uh, for your buildings, which I always forget to do. Another thing you can do is assign a manager. Uh, there's my, my guy, which I'm actually going to save him for the cotton uh, crop because that's going to bring in the most money, uh, which will kind of boost your thing. So upgrades and managers can boost your, uh, your economy here. So there's my bananas. There's my tobacco. And my coffee's actually up, and the cotton is the one that is not. So as soon as my cotton is up, I'll add my... Uh, manager to that and then we'll see what else we need to build like I said it's pretty easy to make a ton of money just by exporting things there's a new mission right, I'll get a grocery I do like the the missions are uh, semi random you'll encounter the same missions but not necessarily in the same order every game you do and it's really kind of nice to have little intermediate goals Export some bananas and get little rewards for it. Gives the game a lot of replay value. All right, so here's my manager. Go for a minute. Single click. Higher. There we go. All right, let's see how everybody's happiness is doing here. Crappy entertainment, crappy healthcare, not surprisingly, crappy religion. So, entertainment it is. Well, the tavern. Right there. And you can see when you place something, it gives you the predictive effectiveness of it based on where you place it, which is really nice. Um, we should build a Catholic mission. Josh, let's just put over here. There we go. And we'll probably need some houses. I'm sure there's people that are homeless. Yep, five shacks. Usually you need to do, uh, uh, you know, half as many houses to replace those. I have 34 open jobs, so I don't need to build any more jobs for a while. They do need some housing, though. Uh, we'll probably do one mansion. Kind of over here. And then we'll do two country houses. There we go. So you can see the island, this is a medium sized island, you can see it's pretty darn big. Uh, so there's no, you know, when you do multiplayer on like a large map, there's no, uh, you know, worry about running into other people. Uh, this area over here is grayed out, you actually have to spend money to explore it, which is actually what I'm going to do, because I see there's a mine over here, so I'm going to explore to the mine. You can see these little rock kind of half circles are mines. Searching through the crates of All right, very good. So I got my plantation upgrades. And I need more people to emigrate. Immigrate, actually. Uh, so upgrades, yes. Yes. Actually, wasn't bananas the other one? Yes. So, Your family's rather rollicking love life has led to an I will pick that. So that'll give me a new heir, which is nice. That's kind of your reward for starting a new scenario with that family. Uh, we will do the shovel because I'm going to try to go up and grab this mine in a second. Although I've kind of boxed myself in. <laughs> Extra rations. I can do that. 
The revolutionary movement is growing. Alright. I need more people over here. Uh, you can try to entice more people by increasing the budget, which will uh, give the people more money for being over there. So that's what I'll do. Well, part of it may just be because I don't have enough people in the town. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies and large up a Oh, we'll do this. Oh, that's a very interesting outfit. I don't think I'm going to choose that. Sure. Boy, what a crazy generation you did there. All right, so another person in my family. Uh, I really want to level up him. I'm going to save my Swiss bank account money for that. I would like to do this red tape because I like to get uh, the building permit done so I can divert my funds over to my Swiss bank account. Spend that money on the upgrades for that guy. Alright, so I'm 4,000 in the red, but I'm actually in okay shape because I'm going to just make a ton of money through exports. Although my time is getting a little low. Once you reach 50% approval rating, then uh, you can declare independence. I'm going to have to ex do some missions to... Uh... Ugh, 246, that's it. Give me a break. To extend my uh, my reign. Okay, the crown sent me some money. That's good. All right, I do want to build that grocery if I can remember where that's at. There we go. Uh, where do I want to put this? Not over there, I guess. Let's put it next over here. There we go. Grocery ready. Anybody need some houses? Yep. 14 shacks. So that's not so great. Now actually, let's see what kind of income these people have. Well off, poor, broke, they're all kind of everything. Mostly poor though, so I need to build some uh, crappy houses, I think. Yeah, that's unlocked. You can see that it does show all the things even things that are unlocked in modern times, so you can get a kind of a gauge of all the different things. I think there's enough things to construct um, to keep you busy. I'm like boxing myself in over here. That's alright though. Our research, that is to say me. All right, mines are done. Uh, I need three more to get that. I need the military fort. All right, so my mine is up here. So how am I gonna get over there? It's such a long way away. It's almost not even worth it. There goes my grocery. The revolutionary movement is growing strong. I'll get revolutionaries. Why not? You see the level of detail is pretty good. You tilt your camera in here. Hello, bananas. And if I slow down here a little bit, you can click on people. See all their different family members. There he is. 15 year old and got grade school education, is a waiter at the tavern. So a lot of. Uh, detail as I showed earlier. Alright, let's uh, our exporting bananas is going pretty well I would say. I do, I am getting a little concerned about only having two years before independence. Yeah, the royalists don't really like. Healthcare is tough because the clinic isn't unlocked until World War, so that's basically a zero uh, hit you're just going to have to absorb. 
Yeah, I need to just get more houses. I think police stations are unlocked later too. Yep, those are unlocked from World Wars. So I can't even really remedy those two things. Uh, so... I don't really want to do that. None of these are really great. Although I can probably do tax cut if it becomes an issue. If I get close to my time limit. When you do the Constitution, you can actually pick which things are in there. I'm good. Uh, we'll just do that. So I got my military for it. Uh, when you declare independence, you do have to have a pretty decent standing military. Otherwise, the... Uh, and I'm going to put my four right here. Let me put the road first. Otherwise, the... Uh, crown will just kind of run over you. Alright. Let's do my fort. Actually, you kind of need a fort and like a, f a fort. You need a fort. There we go. And it helps to have some guard towers too, so I'll actually probably put a guard tower next to that. So they usually come in on the docks. Or you can pay them money if you have a, like a frolicking economy. Ooh, another mission. Build a, li a new why I don't need a new library. Fine. I think I'm gonna run the road like such an indirect way. Yeah, like back this way. to the mine. I'm way the freak back here. I don't even know what type of mine this is. Bauxite? No, oh, that's not useful at all. Alright, there's your mine in the middle of freaking nowhere. Good luck with that. Alright, ranches are ready. Uh Foreman. And I'm burning through money here. My fort's done, though. I gotta... Well established military. Jolly good, old chap. You've given His Majesty's subjects food. So now you should make them pay for it. Hmm. I'll do both. Jolly good, old chap. So I want no free lunch and extra rations. There we go. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Hmm. I'll take the free tech. Just discovered the number of times you need to get in. I do need a new library though. I'm actually pretty close. I'm 40%. So I'm actually in pretty decent shape. In the next uh the next area you have to worry about Axis and Allies, and then after that it's the US and Soviets, and then after that it's basically all the countries can come in and invade you if they don't like you. Yeah, I'm getting lots of money now. 25000 in revenue. Coffee's getting me $5,000, which is nice. Four from cotton, four from tobacco. Excellent. So how's this going? Oh, it's already finished. All right, bauxite. Oh... 35 homeless. Good lord, people. I do have four unemployed, so i got to think about employing them in a little bit. So, tons for more houses. 
think I'm going to expand this direction. Actually, I don't know. I kind of need to expand along this road. I think that's what I'll do. Try to not take out that tree. Here's your housing district. All right, people, get to work. <laughs> Lots of other members of the research team. Sadly, it dawned on us. We're four men. Get it? Four men? No, I don't get it. Just kidding, I do get it. There's my bauxite. Still want me to build that new library, which I will when I get enough money for it. Houses are up. Oh, I can research, can I? Oh, there's rotate. I want to do constitution next. Actually, I'll queue that up next. There we go. There's offshore oil right there. Still don't see any fish, though. $10,000, yeah. New mission. Six new, great. You couldn't have given that to me like a minute ago when I actually did build six new houses. <laughs> actually, I do need six. Although most of these have zero. Oh, Crown sent me some money. Okay, who's unemployed? Just one, with one open job, so that's not too bad. I think these people will start moving in here. Unfortunately, it won't give me credit for that, but... Alright, got some money now. Yeah! Yeah! Alright. What do you guys not like? Entertainment is something I can improve. Food is good. I have good food variety. The grocery. Entertainment I can do though. Let's put a tavern over near you guys. Alright there, 111. Oh yeah, new uh new library. For whatever reason. Let's put it down here and build a road out. Library. There you go. Alright, accelerate. I only have 10 months. Which is not good. Now 9 months. Alright, do I have any... I have four unassigned managers already. Right, well, I can deal with that. Sure. Research points related to the effectiveness. Well, that's interesting. All right, so all my managers are in. Ready. 
Presidente. El Presidente. Yep, that's me. Entertain me. I don't think I can. No, I only have 122. I need that building thing. Three more months. <laughs> and I might be out. Might be out of office by then. Because my approval rating is not great. Well, what else to do? I need more jobs, don't I? Yeah, I'm short three, so what should I do? Grade school, two grade schools, two illiterates, and one high school. Okay. What do I need? Could do a lighthouse. I actually would like more trade offers. There we go. That didn't solve my problem, but... Oh yeah, I was going to do a guard tower, wasn't I? That also doesn't solve my problem. <laughs> Could do a lumber mill. I don't have any lumber, though. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, we'll do that. Where's that? Uh, I think that's... This is actually my logging camp that's now uh, in a very bad position. <laughs> so that was uh, kind of dumb. For me, because I basically cleared out all the trees that that lumber mill could have used. But anyway, all right, lumber mill. Let's put it over here. All right, now we wait. I don't know. I'm getting kind of worried about the six months left. His most oh, thank God! All right, good. All right, now I'm less concerned about it. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. I'm gonna get revolutionaries. Did I build my lighthouse? Oh yeah, I got another tree route. Pineapples, cotton. What do I'm doing? I'm doing cotton already. Cocoa. I'm gonna actually do cocoa. Isn't that something that I'm doing? Coffee, cotton, tobacco, and bananas. Hmm. No. I could start doing planks. No, I have no available ships. We have invented red tape. Oh yeah, let me pass this thing before I forget. There we go. Yeah, constitution. Alright. I think I'm doing pretty decent at the moment. Yeah, I'm 49%, so I'm actually doing okay. No more managers, which is alright. Yeah, autosave. President, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Governor. The island is right for What the hell happened over here? Somebody bombed it? Alright then. Well, that's weird. Alright. Yeah, let's do independence then, shall we? President. His Majesty is most of you. Okay, I'm not giving you twenty thousand bucks, so screw you. I hope I'll be strong enough to uh, take these guys out. All this military stuff is uh, automatically done. I'm trying to take out my tower. I could have probably have done another set of units, but I'm hoping that I'll, my tower will be enough. So here comes my other army. Take them out! V! 
Viva Tropico! What does it say? We're about to lose this battle. Come on, tower, do your job. If they uh, blow up your palace, the game's over. The leaders of a tropical nation, in our desire to put into word. Oh, okay, there's my constitution. Uh, anything else? I can do the newspaper. <laughs> Four citizens arrived in Tropico when I'm being attacked. Uh, I think I'm, think I'm coming back. Come on. Yeah, I lost that, but I gotta take out my fort and stuff, too. Oh, come on. And I'm still in the I'm still technically in the colonial era until I, uh... Is there an edict I can do? Military drills. Yeah, which I can't do because they took out one of my military buildings. Well, shoot. <laughs> I can actually try to rebuild that. That's quick build it. Go, 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 go. Oh good. Forces seem evilly mashed. It's something, I guess. Let's see this. Uh, should have had another unit. Should have had another fort. Should have had two. Or paid the 20,000 bucks. Still don't have enough money to level you up. Nothing I can really do about this, unfortunately. I don't think it's going to be able to be built quick enough. As much as I'd like to put it in. Alright, that's a big chunk of change. High priority. Yeah, I'm about to lose. Yep, I lose. Oh well. <laughs> Yay, I unlocked newspaper, even though I'm about to lose my uh, palace here. There it goes, and I'm done. Combination of the global economy, the Illuminati, bad weather, and just plain rotten luck made you lose. Uh, please leave your beard and your head on your desk on your way out. Okay, I'll blame the Illuminati. Well, there we go. Uh, I'll actually start a new game. Uh,. Choose my same dynasty. We'll do it in the World War era. Same settings. When you start a new game, it starts you out with the same build, you know, basic buildings and stuff. So there you go. Same start as before. And there's your. Thing. But now you have access to all the buildings in the cold, uh, in the Cold War. So I think that'll be good, uh, and that'll do it. Uh, so I really like Tropical Five. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, there's three. Things that the game adds uh, over Tropico 4. Uh, the first is multiplayer, which I think is a pretty significant 
uh, addition. You know, everybody plays on the same island, but the islands are big enough where you're spaced out pretty far. And then you can figure out whether do you want to work cooperatively with the other players or if you want to take them on and invade them with your military units. Uh, so I think that's a really interesting addition. And I'd be curious to see how it works once the game comes out and people actually are, are online to try it out. Uh, the eras are also pretty nice where it, you know, separates all the different buildings uh, and objectives uh, between, you know, portions it up. You know, playing during the colonial era is different than playing during the modern times. Uh, you can see in here, you know, you have rebels and the military loyalty and then the allies and the axis. Uh, and they can invade you, you know, and then you go on to, uh, you know, more advanced things with uh, more advanced buildings and things like that. Uh, you know, the interface I think is pretty good. It puts most of the information about two clicks away from you, either all the buildings or through the pretty comprehensive uh, almanac or simply clicking on a character uh, you know and seeing all the stuff about their family tree and all their different uh, thoughts and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty easy to balance the economy because of exports as you saw in the first game. You know it's pretty easy to get your economy rolling just by placing production buildings down. Uh, that said the game isn't necessarily easy as you saw because I lost. Uh, through poor military planning. Um, you know, you can get rocked by rebels or uh, some random event. You know, there's earthquakes and tornadoes and stuff like that. Uh, so even though it's fairly easy to get your economy rolling uh, and bring in a lot of money through exports, you know, the, the game can still throw some curveballs at you. Uh, the game has a pretty good amount of replay value uh, thanks to the randomized maps. But you see this one is basically the you know, the same settings as the other one, but it is different, uh, definitely. Uh, and you can kind of, you know, pick different crops and stuff based on the terrain that it places you in. Uh, I like the trade with the foreign uh, nations that you can uh, import and export goods. That's pretty handy. I like the mission system where it gives you little intermediate uh, and short-term missions over time. Uh, the research is pretty comprehensive. You can kind of pick... Uh, which things you want to research. You can see here's my uh, middle part there. Uh, and then the family dynasty where you can uh, get new family members and level them up over time over different games that you do. Uh, so a lot of stuff to enjoy and I think if you like city builders uh, Tropico 5 is definitely a good one to pick. You know I've been kinda since the original Tropico came out I've been kinda waiting for the game to kinda get everything together and uh, produce a very complete and polished product and uh, in my opinion Tropico 5 is that product. Uh, I can't really think of much that the game really needs to add uh, to kinda round out the package although I'm sure they'll think of stuff through uh, DLC and whatnot. Uh, in future expansions. So, uh, definitely a game that I would recommend uh, if you're looking for a city builder with a unique twist. Uh, so, that's all I have for today. Till next time, bye now.